Uh, this is the Milwaukee Road, Rocky Mountain Division. It's between uh, Alberton, Montana, and Avery, Idaho. It's the Electrified Division. Uh, back in uh, 1974, I'm modeling May and June of 1974. Uh, the layout from Avery to Alberton is about 100 miles, and I think I've done a fairly decent job of trying to cram what I can into here without making it look too overwhelming. And I've had people down here that actually live out there that come down here and say, well, I know where that is, or hey, that's such and such a place. So I think I've gotten pretty lucky and achieved that goal. One of the things that drew me to modeling this area was the trestles. You know, at first you see a picture of one, okay, that's pretty neat, but then you start looking into it deep and it's like, well, there's, there's a bunch of them. And then you want to start tearing it apart, you want to get into each and every individual trestle, then you get some history behind it. The favorite spots in my layout would definitely be the Loop Creek area in Idaho with the, all the trestles and the tunnels and of course the trees. The trees are commercially available. I uh, get them and they do some modification to them. The big thing would be to sprinkle ground foam over it and lighten them up a little bit because they're in the sunlight. You know, do the hairspray thing and lighten them up. And I think I've achieved the color. Of course, you've got shadows and everything that come into play, but I think I've done a pretty decent job there. My professional life, I'm a railroad engineer. Worked for a short line here in uh, Michigan. And when I run the layout, I try to apply what's going on with the uh, what's going on in the engineer's head in that 187th scale cab because I can see what's what would be going on in real life. So it adds a lot more enjoyment, a lot of more, a lot more prototypical operation. I think there's times I'd, I I want to get out of the one to one scale and dive into the 187th scale. One will actually release pressure from the other. Uh, my control systems are NCE, uh, that cordless systems, it's nothing high tech or anything by any means. Uh, again, that's not really my forte. I have friends come over that will basically hook it up for me. I'm not into the sound system stuff yet. I have dabbled in a little bit of it, but uh, from what I've seen with friends coming over with their equipment, it's definitely on the list. When you're going up or down the hills, and especially through tunnels, you get that rever reverberating yeah. feeling. And uh, yeah, it's, it's on the to-do list for sure. Well, to finish the layout up right now, I'm looking at uh, finishing trees. I want to start tackling the signals. I want to get the signal system operational and maybe someday actually have an operating session with a dispatcher and actual crews and uh, helper crews and things like that. So this is definitely my first layout other than a four by eight sheet of plywood. Uh, it's been a learning experience. I think if I were to do it again, there's definitely things I would change. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. The future, I don't know, we'll worry about that tomorrow. <laughs>